So now the keywords to this question is this. Firstly, they collected the same number. Total amount shop A collected was 2,000 less than shop B. Okay, at the same time, um, which is more expensive? Danny is more expensive, okay? So I'm gonna draw a very simple model. Okay, since they, you see, right? Since they bought the same number of phones. I'm gonna draw a simple model. This is gonna represent the same number of phones. So someone is gonna uh, so sell more Y, okay? And someone is gonna sell more Z. Okay, so come, Ajma, let me ask you, if A collected 2,000 less, right? Which is A, the top or the bottom model? Ajma, do you know? Can you remember? Okay, they sold the same number, but A collected 2,000 less. So if A collected 2,000 less, okay, would A have sold more Y? or sold fewer Y. So that's how we decide whether it's a top or the bottom model. Uh, Z sold more than Y. Okay, more what? Because they bought, they, they sold the same number of phones. Huh? So it's either more Y or more Z. Uh, more uh, Z. Who sold more Z? A or B? So the very important thing is this. They sold the same number, right? But they collected less. Which is more expensive here? Yozo or Zeni phones? Zeni. Zenny phones are more expensive, right? So if A collected less than B, who sold more Zenny phones? B. B sold more Zenny phones. Very good. So Ashma is A or B? Is is? Can you see that now B has to be the bottom one and A has to be the top one? Yes. Okay, Kayla, remember that uh, because shop B collected more money, so therefore shop B must have sold more Zenny phones because Zenny phones are more expensive. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to use, what did they say over here? Shop A sold 13 Yozo phones. So Y here is 13, Shop B sold 15 Zenny phones. So 15 is over here, Z. Now my question to you is, how do I find the overlap here? Okay, how many phones represent the overlap? It's very simple. Okay, the first thing you want to identify is that <clears throat> the big difference in this question is actually 2,000, right? What's the small diff here, Ajmal? Uh, because um, because Zeni, uh, Zeni phone is expensive, more expensive than the Yozo phone. So th this is like the difference between them. Yes. Also, you take 999 minus 599. Yes, which is? Uh, 400. Yes, okay, good. Okay, so if, if you know that the big diff is, if you know that all together, Shop A collected 2,000 less, and every Yozo phone is 400 cheaper, so how many more Yozo phone did Shop A sell? Okay, so Ajma. Yes. How many more Yozo phones did Shop A sell? 2,000 divided by, by 400. Yeah, 2,000 divided by 400, okay. So when you take 2,000 divided by 400, you actually get 5, which actually tells you that over here, this overlap here is 5. Okay, why is this important? Because once you know that, the overlap here is five. You know that shop A sold five more Yozo phones than B. Caleb, if shop A sold 13, how many Yozo phones will shop B sell? Uh, 13 plus five. Uh, actually, 13 minus five. Because you see, if you check it out, shop A has a longer Yozo phone, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so this is actually eight, okay? Which means if uh, you know that this is eight, right? Then Zenny phone would be 10. Okay, so your answer for A is actually A. I'm going to quickly repeat myself again. Why is it A? Is because the big difference here is 2,000. The small difference here is 400, which tells you that shop A sold five more Yozo phones. Why Yozo? Because Yozo is cheaper. Yozo is cheaper and A collected less. Since A uh, sold 13 Yozo phones, so B must have sold 13 minus 5 equals to 8 Yozo phones. So B is very easy. Shop A collected basically 13 user phone, 13 times 599. And shop uh, A also sold 10. Okay, can someone quickly punch in the numbers and let me know what's the answer for this? Teacher, can I ask you something? Yes. 
Zenny phone, yeah. phone right? Uh, how do you get 10? Oh, because you see, they sold the same number of phones, uh, phones right? Which means if you know that Shop B sold 8 Yozo, that means total, Shop B sold how many phones total? Shop B sold, uh, Shop B sold uh, 15 plus 8. Yes, 23. Which is 23. Correct. Since so, if this is 23 and it's sold the same number of phones, so therefore Shop A must have sold 10 Zenny phones, right? Because he sold 13 oh, user phones. Okay. Make sense? Okay. The answer for B, 17,777. 17, what? 17,777. Yes, okay, that's correct. Huh? So, all right, guys, um, this question is like, is, is like an advanced variation of what we've done previously. Okay, mm -hmm. so just always remember, big div, small div is the same concept, right? If all together, shop A received 2,000 less, but they sold the same number of phones, it tells you that shop A must definitely have sold more Yozo phones. How many more Yozo phones? Firstly, you find a small difference, which is 999. Okay, I'll make it clear here. The small difference here is 999 minus 599. Okay, equals to 400. And then therefore, I can find out that actually it is five more Yozo phones. Okay, so if they sold the same number of phones, they would sell five more Yozo and five and then shop B will have sold five more Zenny phones. 